Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies with me, Rainbow 20, where we last left off. We were fighting the zombie apocalypse and trying to formulate a fleet in order to break down the alien warp beacon in order to continue our journey. More specifically, where we last left off, the zombies have won. And it is now our goal to free up all these sectors from the zombie attack. As well as avoiding... Bloody... Yeah. Go, um, avoiding the bloody bounty hunters. Considering all their forces are down here, we can ignore them for the most part if we go north. Now, out of curiosity... We have these two, um, wow, I have a really poor memory. We have these two side objectives to complete. So let's go to the Balance of Power, Part 3. Hello again, my friends. I have brought you here to say only one thing. How very disappointed I am in you both. What the hell are you talking about? It was me, Elsa. Together we've been doing the work of the damned. I had no choice, but you did. I did my best to tell you never to trust anyone. You could have read between the lines, Elsa. Oh my god, what are you saying? Are we responsible for this? In a sense, yes. We are all responsible for breaching the gates. We all played our part. As for these trivial and meaningless tasks, even I don't fully understand the will of the infection. I simply do as I am instructed. Don't give me that crap, Don. How could you do this to me? You are like a father to me, and you did nothing but blow smoke up my ass from day one. I did my damnedest to reach out to you, Elsa. I tried to teach you to make your own decisions, to leave this wretched life behind and live your own. I'm a renegade pirate, traveling with, half a, with a half-mad scientist charged with crimes against humanity. This is the company you choose? How could I possibly make this life more unappealing for you? You put entirely too much blind faith in believing I was a good person. Now there is no hope. All that I have left is the end. It is time for you to put... It is time for you to be put to rest. I'm sorry I failed you. Put to rest my ass. You and I were going to finish this right here, right now. Uh, I have despised that bit of voice acting. And it really hurts to do that kind of thing. Hydra and Raven. Really, I don't have much to say here. We're just doing a lot of murdering again. But we're finally going to get the Hydra, after all this time, but not having this. In fact, I might even replace the Colt with it if it turns out to just be playing better. Presumably, this is all going to end in a boss fight. Um, maybe I shouldn't... Oh, oh, it's got the, uh, ultra-powerful beams as well. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do Ring Around the Rosie with this. Elsa, you never cease to impress me with your resourcefulness. Just remember, every infected vessel you destroy, we claim thousand more. What is done can't be undone. You can count on seeing me again. Farewell. 
You son of a bitch. Wherever you are, I'm going to find you and fly the ship straight up your ass. Well, that certainly was unexpected. At least we somehow got paid for the jobs. What baffles me is, where does he keep all the res to bait us along this far? His deception was nearly seamless. Carl, just shut up. I'll be in my quarters. I need to be alone right now. She actually has a very... That's actually a very good point. I'm sorry, that's actually a very, very good point. Where do they get the res? Uh, oh well. We're gonna have more than enough res to fuel the next base. Oh, wow. I didn't expect the Manta. Alright. Um, I don't see any data. I do see a lot of cargo, but none of that's useful in the long run. So we are going to go to the Treasure Hunt Part 3. An alien artifact has been detected in the area. Further study is required. This is the last one. Finally, after all this time. You should know the dr drill by now. Fetch! Oh, and watch out for all those infected ships. Shucks, thanks, Carl. You can go ahead and play outside, and I'll call you in for supper. Don't trouble yourself with any real work. If you could see me right now, my face has the look of the overly attached girlfriend. Uh, at least I can't remember what her actual name is supposed to be. But now we're just gonna go murder off all these zombie ships that somehow exist in an infection level zero sector. And I see all these zombie ships and I laugh, because I try to figure out how they're still alive after I kill off everything that they ever held dear. We now have the Pelican available after all this time. And I have more, um... No! This is impossible! It's empty! Carl, we can't stick around and have a cry. We need to evacuate. I'm picking up a lot of infected bogeys headed our way. I'll get you some ice cream later. Don't you patronize me, Grease Monkey! We can't leave until I've found it. The signal is still on radar. One of these infected vessels must be carrying it. Elsa, we must find it. Shit, fine, fine. Let's go risk life and limb for trinkets again. I still love the fact that I'm effectively invulnerable in these ships, as long as the shield can be recharged. In fact, I think I'm just going to upgrade the shield specifically to make ourselves even harder to kill. Right. Um, research. Even though it's not going to... 14. Wow, this is... This is getting to be a tad absurd. But, uh, shields upgrade to max. I was going to say, did we just lose our favorite ship again? Jesus! When are they going to stop? I'm almost halfway tempted to try fighting a bounty hunter group, even though realistically I know that's just going to end badly. We haven't gotten full upgrades yet, and I don't feel like trying. Then again, knowing me, it's probably going to be much easier than I expected. Let's see what it is. Amazing! I'm able to combine all these artifacts to unlock a repository of ancient alien research. This is definitely the same race that built the alien war gate. It's a legacy of a long-since-extinct race. They left their secrets behind, hidden away in a puzzle. I believe they are trying to safeguard future races against the infection by improving their technology. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? Let's hope you're right and they didn't don't come back all pissed off after we just raided their toy box. And Terry, integrate what you can into this database. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And we leveled up again a million and a half times. Once again, putting us in the precarious situation of the fact that we have way too much, um, we're going through way too many levels. And potentially have better people? No, we actually don't have better people. But I'm going to level up again just because, as long as this doesn't disappear as soon as I get here. There we go. Right. So as for research, let's upgrade our engines so we can actually move. Because I think we're really going to need that in the future. And let us... In all honesty, I want to go to a place where I can get goons. And unfortunately, that's here. Which means I'd have to break the bounty hunters early. Data... Here has goons. But I also wanted to check out the civvies. Can I upgrade them yet? Or has that ever been a possibility? It looks like I should be able to, but that's not always the case. No. No, I can't. Oh. That sucks. But here? Yeah, it's just an observation at first. Alright, we're gonna go to the next zombie and... Right. Let's see, what goes on here? Does a zombie cry? Well, good mission sense would dictate that I want to go here right away, and then just break it. Realistically, I want to go to the zombie swarm and just kill this area, and regain control of the system right away. And I have one ally wave. Jeez Louise, you're, you're incredibly you're incredibly useful. You're oh so perfect in every way, shape, or form. With the one city ship that we have then as as an ally. And we now have the wasp, which might may or may not be better, but I'm too lazy to go find out. I'd like to think that my voice acting for all the characters just gets slightly better as time goes on, but I choose not to really believe that. So we're supposed to destroy every single infected target, in which case that just means kill everything in sight. Also, if you'll take note, my shield has a shield strength of 4,000. I don't think that anything's getting through that anytime soon, and it's recharging far faster than they're hurting me. doesn't help that we're also breaking their ships well before they have a chance to react, which is just amazing in every sense of the term. In fact, this is the fast-paced combat that I was looking for, and I'm the slow bruiser that murderizes everything. Holy... My cargo bay is full of all things. GTFO to the... Eh, we have more than enough jumps. Let's GTFO to the UTA. Oh, UTA! I see that you need lots of supplies. Have everything. It thinks we just stole some goons from them without asking. But uh, I have no clue. Let's go murder the let's go murder the zombies. Just for, just for funsies. Thank you all for volunteering for this thank you all for volunteering for this mission. I've been cataloging zombie behaviors for some time now. 
This may seem like an odd request, but I need you to destroy only the smallest infected ships while I observe the, observe the behavior of larger Guardian ships. Understanding this relationship to one another may prove useful when training our pilots how to combat them. Wait, what? Kill some, but not others. It's all bad beef in my book. Yes, that is correct. Destroy only the targeted ships. Keep your autopilot systems in check and do not engage the larger, large infected vessels. Right. So what I'm going to do is send them all in the opposite direction. And then I'm just going to send in the big ship that never dies. I say that, and I'm very, very, very close to death right now because I can't actually damage these ships fast enough. And now I can't outrun them, even going backwards. Uh huh. They're cloaked, aren't they? Get, can I get these crew? Can I get these crew, please? This is amazing. First time in ages we can actually get crew. Who'd have thunk it? Attacking our main base. You better not be. I'm gonna be severely ticked off. No, you're dancing with my other crew. That is perfectly acceptable in my eyes, if that was the case. But now I have to go and break the smaller zombie ships. What do bloody do? Don't target the freaking large ship. As stupid as it is. And I'm about to lose this one, but I don't care, I'll admit. Give me. Shield does take forever to recharge. I could probably use a much smaller cloaked ship and that would be quite good. But realistically, that's a terrible idea. But why would it be a terrible idea? That would be a perfect plan. for suicidal wasps. Uh-huh. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Burn the infection! Trust me, this is as ludicrously difficult as it looks. Especially because I lost all my crew to one of those assaults. Doesn't help that I'm actually using a subpar ship for this. Oh, 
Isle Hydra. And I'm about to lose this ship, but I don't care. I really should swap to this much smaller and more agile ship. I really should. It's like every single bit of sense dictates that that's probably a better idea when I'm doing that. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? It's time to stop being a bloody moron. Get over here. I'll be taking over you. Then again, this could be a much worse idea. I mean, this might be more agile and capable of dodging stuff, but I've kind of loaded it down with really heavy armor. Okay, where's this cloaked guy hiding? That's where you're hiding, eh? Come on. Great, I've collected the data I need. Okay, go ahead and destroy the guardianship. Run, run in fear, run in fear, run away in fear. Right, I've got enough shielding now. Can everyone focus on me? I could tell them I'll ditch their crew, but I've got enough shielding where I could probably take a pounding from the zombie hammerhead and probably... I said probably. Probably isn't the case. Probably. 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 In all probability. In all probability, I've gone mad after a while. Yep, well, they know what I'm attacking, all right. I see you trying to break through my sheep, and I see you fail miserably. Hurrah for goons. Hurrah for reds. Now, let's kill off this ticket and get out. It's, okay, as I was gonna say, is it still a red alert? Okay. I'm going to visit the cities and see if I can upgrade that. You'd think I should be able to. And uh, you'd be right. Well, let's go right ahead. Now, speaking of infrastructure... Uh, speaking of infrastructure, let's go for a supply run. Thankfully, with the zombie count being so low, they shouldn't be able to do much to stop us. I'm just doing this for the goons, res, and data. And I'll let these goons... I'll, I'll let my goons deal with their goons. They should be fine. Then again, I am taking possibly the slowest ship for this job. Eh, I'll let the big tanky one deal with everything. I don't want to think of whose cargo is full at this point. Uh-huh. Can I just set you guys to fire at will? 
It's just um, be aggressive and don't stick around. Just um, uh, don't, don't, don't. No, just don't collect cargo. Go here and just defend. I'll collect the rest of the supplies. We got strength in numbers anyway, boys. And then once again, I prove that I don't know how to pilot one of these things. Come on! <laughs> Please, don't do this to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, that wasn't unexpected at all. No, not at all. Once again, I still can't pilot these things. collect and remain aggressive. Just go and collect, please. I can deal with this. With the tanky ship, I can deal with this. Well, it's a completely different ship, isn't it? You know, I can just get the very last bit of supplies and I won't deal with this anymore. Be really nice. Maybe. To really level up. Right, let's collect the rest that we can. And let's leave. Oh, full cargo. Well, what do you know? Um, more jumps into the zombie attack. All right. So the next one would be. Science base. Not a lot of strength. Uh huh. Well. Regardless of what I want to do, I think I'm going to call this an episode. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. This has been Brain Boy 20 with Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies, and I am signing off.